2010, the International Maritime Organization, IMO, designated June 25th every year as the International Day of the Seafarer to recognize the fact that almost everything that we use in our daily lives has been directly or indirectly affected by sea transport. Since then, the Day of the Seafarer has been commemorated to honor and appreciate seafarers worldwide for their innumerable contribution to the world economy and the civil society. As the world celebrates seafarers, the Kenya Maritime Authority recognizes and appreciates the integral role of the Kenyan seafarers in shaping the maritime industry and their huge potential in contributing to the growth of the national economy. And for the risks and personal costs they bear while on their jobs. Kenya Maritime Authority recognizes the challenges braved by the seafarer in their course of duty and remains committed to improving the conditions for the Kenyan seafarers as it relates to the human element and decent treatment at sea, at ports and at seafarer centers. The Day of the Seafarer not only acknowledges the invaluable work of seafarers, but also aims to bring global attention to the issues affecting their work and lives, such as piracy and humane treatment. We celebrate all the Seafarers Day, we attend all the conferences for the maritime on, uh, on the seafarers' issues. We look at their welfare. When they are admitted at the hospital, we also visit them and also visit them at the ship. It calls on governments to develop policies that lead to fair treatment of seafarers at ports and asks private ship companies and owners to provide their employees with proper facilities and comfort while working at sea. Tuna ishkuru serikali na Kenya Maritime Authority kuwajibika kutupatia sisi capacity building ya kujua MLC ambao ni Maritime Labor Convention 2006 ambao baaria anajua haki zake na utendaji kazi akiwa melini. This year's IMO Day of the Seafarer campaign theme is Seafarers Matter and is intended at celebrating our seafarers and showing them that the world appreciates and cares about them. The day also draws attention to the treatment and welfare of seafarers at ports and the seafarers' centers. According to IMO's estimation, ships transport almost 90% of the world's goods trade with over 70% as containerized cargo. Seafarers are not only responsible for the safe and efficient operations of such ships, but are also responsible for the safe and smooth delivery of cargo from and to various ports worldwide. Without shipping, the bulk transport of vital raw materials, affordable food and manufactured goods would be impossible. Keeping the global international trade running smoothly and over a million seafarers of diverse nationalities working on board the world's fleet which transport merchandise that constitute the global trade and who keep our global economy afloat and help ensure that the benefits of globalization can be more evenly distributed. The maritime industry is central to the livelihoods of billions of people and the industry in turn relies on seafarers. Without them, international trade would grind to a halt. Seafarers transport about 9.2 billion tons of goods which are loaded in ports worldwide per year. These goods reach our homes, workplaces, malls and supermarkets, hospitals, schools and industries as finished products such as television sets, furniture, medicines, clothes, cooking gas, among many others, or raw products for use in industries. Yet very few realize that the said merchandise was transported by ships. And quietly, mostly unnoticed, very few realize that our seafarers keep the wheels of the world trade in motion. In a great sense, seafarers are indispensable to the world as they are to the shipping industry. The Kenya Maritime Authority has been collaborating with the Government of Kenya, Seafarers Union of Kenya, SUK, and International Federation of Workers, ITF, mission to seafarers, shipping companies, crewing agencies, and other maritime stakeholders to address the welfare of Kenyan seafarers and increase their participation in the maritime industry. 
the government was involved and um, we managed to, to bring back the union. The union was not stable and I'm happy because of Kenya Maritime Authority because what they did. This is the first time I've seen a government where it supports the union to be on its own and uh, move forward. And uh, Kenya Maritime Authority, at, uh, it, they have really worked hard. They have, um, they have really sponsored them. They have taken them to school, back to school. They have managed to sponsor them to the meetings and also stakeholders meeting to bring them on board. ITF ni moja wapo mshirika mkuu wa seafarers duniani. ITF ndiye mshirika mkuu paka kwa Mission to Seamen. Kenya Maritime Authority inafanya kazi karibu sana na ITF kulinda haki za baharia. Our work is to look at the welfare of the workers already arriving in Kenya. They have issues, they have complaints, they have disputes, they don't have enough food, they have not been paid their wages, they may be sick, denying to go to the hospitals. And then I look at the domestic seafarers, we call them local seafarers. Kenya seafarers claims mostly is the wages and the working condition of the workers. And that is where we look at it and uh, do meetings with them and correct where the ship owners can rectify. KMA strives to showcase best practices in seafarer welfare and support. We offer career guidance and support to seafarers, intervene in seafarers' disputes as it relates to remuneration and compensation issues, treatment by employers, work conditions, among others, help with seafarers' certification and documentation, as well as registration of seafarers' employers' agreements, SEA. In Kenya, we have seafarers who do not have formal education. But in KMA and in Kenya generally, we do not want to push them out of employment. But what we have done is to ensure that we give them restricted certificates to allow them to operate within a given area. This is because they have been able to operate those vessels over the years without accidents and they are, they are very much conversant, so we do not want to push them out of employment. But we are also encouraging the young men to take uh, courses, to be trained as co coxswains, to be trained as seafarers, so that they can take over from their aging parents, brothers and siblings. We also ensure that port authorities provide shore welfare facilities to seafarers that visit their ports. The mission to seamen was uh, started in Mombasa in 1921 and the key reason as to why it was started is to give support to the seafarers visiting the port of Mombasa to give both spiritual and uh, physical support. And uh, spiritual support, we have a chapel whereby we give uh, services for those who are Christians. And for those who are not Christians, we refer them to the right people to guide them. We also uh, give them counseling. As you can recall, during the time of piracy, many of them came here in Mombasa and we supported them, we gave them counseling. Apart from the spiritual support, we have other things, facilities, like the swimming pool, where they come and relax. We have a bar and restaurant. We have the sports hall. We give them free internet. We give them free transport from the port to the centre and also to the mall. Those who want to go and buy something. With gratitude and admiration, our hearts go out to our seafarers because through their great sacrifice and duty, they steer the vessels through storms and mists, through pirate-infested waters, in order to contribute to our society's development and ensure the facilitation of global trade. We salute them. We appreciate them. We encourage them and we respect them. We pay tribute to Kenyan seafarers and all seafarers worldwide for their substantial contribution to national development. We fully embrace this day 
in solidarity with all seafarers and confidently say seafarers matters to us, their well-being is our well-being. <laughs>